Good morning. Welcome to Physics World. Today we discuss about Chapter Ten: Sound. Every day, when you get up from your bed, your life starts with listening different kinds of sounds, like your brother calling you, or your sister calling you, or your parents calling you, or you listening the sounds like TV. sounds from tv sounds from radio the sound producing from the vehicles the sound producing from the traffic the sound produced because of companies factories the sound produced because of so many other types of sources then you may wonder that how these types of sounds are producing how different kinds of sounds are producing by different types of sources then what is sound are we able to produce sound if you are able to produce sound what are the factors which are affecting the sound to vary so understand more about the sound today we will go deep into the sound concepts in physics we understand that we have particles and we have energy then sound is particle or sound is energy how would we distinguish between particle and energy then see you may have experiences or you have seen the movies also that when any person shouts loudly or generally if you take the women take women when they shout loudly then what happens you will get some resound from the metal bodies like in kitchen room if you go to kitchen room and if you shout louder then you can see the resound coming from the kitchen utensils so these resound is not won't produced directly because the sound has some energy because of the energy it make the bodies to vibrate and so you resing the sound so sound is a energy sound is not only energy sound is a wave also then what is wave to go to discuss more about wave let us have more concentration of energy sound is energy energy like sound is a mecha- like mechanical energy like you have electromagnetic energy sound is also one type of mechanical energy that means you have learned about the mechanical energies like energy can be generated only because of mechanical force so when you apply the force then we have the energy or if you need how the energy then you can apply the mechanical force similarly if you want to produce a sound you have to apply some type of pressure into the medium then sound can be generated now how could we produce the sound or how could we make the sound to travel from one part of the region to the another part of the region see the board say this is some medium take this is air medium and you have produced a sound say this is the horn so horn and sound is produced the sound is produced when the sound is produced through horn the sound moves in all the directions take one direction when the sound moves in this straight directions it has to pass through air medium so that there will be a receiver who receives the sound now when the sound wants to move from one part of the region to the other part of the region then what happens this air consists of air particles then what happens when the sound is produced is apply some pressure on the air particles and this pressure applies some force on the particles then this particle starts vibrating it starts vibrating from their position they move they will, they will do to and fro motion just like a simple pendulum like how the simple pendulum move from mean to extreme positions similarly the air particles also do to and fro motion we say vibrations so these vibrations 
carried from one particle to another particle other particle to another particle like this carried till to the end of the medium then the receiver say the receiver is a person then this sound goes to the ears of the person and then the in when the ears you have ear drum the eardrum starts vibrating and because of vibration of the eardrum the message goes to your brain and then you understand that some sound is coming to your ears this is how the sound is produced and here when i said that the sound is traveling through the medium the particles are vibrating when the particles are vibrating actually they are carry carrying the energy from one particle to another particle and another particle and another particle so particles are vibrating is nothing but they are carrying the energy from one place to another place and so once again we conclude that sound is a energy form now how could you show the sound energy in pictorial way scientists were scientists were thought so much about to represent energies in pictorial way and they have got a solution for that and that solution is sinusoidal forms so they have shown all different types of energies in sinusoidal forms sound energy also they have shown in the form of sinusoidal what is sinusoidal form means see the boat like this this is called sinusoidal form and this is also called wave so the wave is the energy representation wave is the energy representation you have another meaning of wave in physics we discuss we will used to used to say in physics department wave is nothing but a disturbance created in the region yes suppose think that you brought a scent bottle in a closed room and you just open the cap of the scent bottle then what happens within seconds the scent is spread is in every corner of the room that means the scent creates some disturbance in the room so that you can smell the scent similarly wave is also like that wave is the disturbance created in the region now you are listening what i am teaching here now if you increase the sound so my what i am teaching here that can be heard by each and every corner of your room nothing but the sound is spreading each and every corner as the sound is spreading each and every corner of your room you can say that sound is a wave also and that wave we represent the form of a sinusoidal okay to produce sound what are different requirements you should have they are number 1 to produce sound you have sound source sound source like i am the sound source i am speaking now in front of you so i am the sound source now second you should have a medium remember without medium sound you can't listen if you go to a vacuum place you can't listen the sound why earlier i told you that sound want to move from one part of the body one part of the region to other part of the region the particle has to vibrate and when i when i say that the particles mean they should be medium so medium is important next this medium should be elastic 